Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. I hope you're fantastic. Let's go ahead and see what pops up in your love message. Angel spirits, guides, please show us Aries. And what do they need to see? We are in retrograde season. Jupiter retrograde. All, almost every planet is retrograde. So it's karma and it's also lessons that are coming back around again to be learned. So let's see what we get here. Aries and their romantic love life. Honeymoon. Okay. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time. This could be predicting an upcoming trip, um, vacation, uh, something like that. Okay, so let's see what we get for Aries here. Angel Spirits Guides, please show us Aries. And remember, if you feel weakened, or if you feel like you're in a difficult rough patch, remember you are Mars. You are the change maker. You are the warrior. You're the greater malefic. It is the shadow side of the self, which means it's not pretty. <laughs> but you, you don't have to just lay down in the dirt and just get trampled on. Um, you are the warrior, you know. Um, cause retrogrades are lessons and I know a lot of the time when there are all these retrogrades, you feel like you're learning lessons over and over. So it's not easy by any means when so many planets are pulling their energy away or if the energy is, um, somehow like resisting. Right now we have a god. We have a yod to Chiron and Aries. I'll just show you on my phone. We have the yod with the main energy coming up is Chiron, healing the wounded self, healing the wounds that you have gone through is the number one issue going on because we have the sun in Virgo straight to Scorpio. This is gonna, the sun will illuminate and highlight any kind of hidden wounds you have in order for you to get to this place where you need to heal. So Venus is not retrograde, Mars is not, Mercury is not yet, but every other planet here is retrograde. So we have Jupiter, the greater benefic energy pulling away, Saturn, malefic energy about um, commitments and discipline, retrograde. It can be abuse. I mean, Saturn retrograde is definitely kind of like an abusive energy. Uranus retrograde, is like being unique. I mean, I'm not gonna get too much into Uranus retrograde, but it is like a unique energy, but it's rebellion. Um, so let's see, show us Aries love life, please. <laughs> what is going on in Aries love life? Knight of Swords, maybe some anger. There could be some issues to do with words, hostility. Um, a sense of urgency. Okay. And what is going on here with this? Wow. There could be like somebody is saying um, there's something, the challenge is commitments. Um, could be financial, but I think it's commitments. There's something here about, you know, anger. There's a need to pull away and um, find your truth with the hermit. You need to do some self-discovery. Okay, you're going to get some good news here. You're going to get some happy news. Something will be illuminated. The sun will shine on something here. Water, sent, water energy from the past. It could just be a person sending you happy news, a nice message. Some of you are either going to take this offer and leave, or you're going to walk away from this person or, 
walk away from something. Um, something is making you feel like you're being dragged through the mud. Um, dragged through the dirt. Like all the responsibilities on you. But this could be moving. It could be moving out. Moving out. Packing boxes on your own without assistance. Um, okay, there's something here on your mind. There's an empress around you. Um, there's this energy of possibly being seen as someone of value. You want to be valued. You're, you have this fear that things will go wrong or things won't go correctly. Um, what's the outcome? You get an, an offer. Knight of coin. Somebody extending an offer to you, wanting you to respond back and take their offer. Um, what is this eight of cups? What is this eight of cups? Abandoning. You could be walking away to be single, having a life of comfort on your own. Um, you could be, yeah, something here is about you're getting a message of love from someone. Compassion, understanding. We have the magician and the six of cups. So it could be someone who is a friend reaching out to you. Um, what is this knight of coin coming in for Aries? The lovers. I don't think. I think it's a message of um, actual love. It's something to do with someone who admires you. They could see your value. Because the energy around is Empress. So either you're dealing with someone who's highly valued. The sun is going to shine on something here. What is the Hermit? Could be a Virgo. Okay, Queen of Air, you may have told someone that you don't like how they are, like they're too non-committal, they're too restless, they don't seem serious. Um, what is the Ten of Wands? The Moon, okay. You're carrying a lot of burdens and hidden feelings about things. Um, What is this Knight of Cups bringing in? Okay, Ten of Swords. There's someone here who possibly is apologizing. It could be something about feeling really bad. Somebody feels really bad. Um, it could also be the ending of a painful period for you. Underlying energy is the Six of Wands there. What is this offer of love here? A new offer of love. Five of Swords. Okay. There could be someone around you or a person here who has contempt. Like they are spiteful. So what is this new offer coming in? What is this new offer coming in? King of the air. So it could be an air sign. It could also be someone you're blocking. There's Gemini energy here. And a queen of coin, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, generosity, kindness, understanding. What is nine of coin? Walking away to be on your own. Emperor, yeah. Could be you on your own as single, independent, um, or we have Emperor Empress. So there could be something about a soulmate, a divine counterpart. Nine of Cups, okay. So you need to do soul searching here with the Hermit underlying. What's going on is you need to turn within to find out what you want, because once this offer comes in, you have to be sure. Like, I'm walking away from a negative situation of some kind 
towards a better situation. What is the moon? Freedom. Okay. So you're going to possibly take this leap of faith and step out into this new situation. King of Coins, Star, Seven of Swords. Someone may have been lying to you and you may have been just sort of putting up with the lies. But you're not going to put up with it. The star is letting go. And there could be a new person here. Okay, I'm going to leave this here for you. Thank you for watching Aries and take care.